Love and passion for similar things can be the ties that bind. But what happens when that similar thing is killing? Today we discuss the serial killing husband and wife, Fred and Rose West. Let's open the serial killer file. Frederick Walter West was born in England on September 29, 1941. His parents were two farmers who may have worked hard to provide for their family, but weren't without their vices. Growing up, Fred was exposed to many sexual acts at a young age. Fred's father, Walter, was known to engage in incestuous relationships with Fred's sisters while teaching the children that it was acceptable to commit bestiality in the household. It was speculated that his own mother began sexually abusing Fred at the age of 12. As a child, Fred lacked interest in school and eventually at the age of 15 dropped out to become a farm laborer. It was not long after when Fred turned 17 that he was involved in a motorcycle accident that caused Fred to sustain a severe head injury which resulted in a coma. The amount of trauma left him with metal plates in his head. This was the beginning to his temperamental attitude. Two years after his first accident, Fred was purposely pushed down a fire escape after attempting to sexually molest a 13-year-old. These instances of head trauma eventually resulted in Fred falling victim to epileptic seizures. With the worsening of his conditions, Fred's family allowed him to stay back in his hometown. It was here that he reunited with an ex-girlfriend named Catherine Rena Costello. Once reuniting with Catherine, Fred found out that Catherine was a prostitute who had become pregnant from one of her customers. Accepting Catherine's career and her pregnancy, Fred married Catherine just after two months and moved into Coatbridge, Scotland. During this time, Fred took up work as an ice cream truck driver. Catherine gave birth to her first daughter, Charmaine, shortly after their move to Scotland on February 22, 1963. It didn't take long before the marriage went sour, however. Fred would constantly demand sex from Catherine, resulting in the birth of their first child together, Anne Marie. In 1964, Fred's life in Scotland came to an official end when he ran over and killed a four-year-old boy with his ice cream truck. Fearing for his safety, Fred moved his family and their nanny, Issa McNeil, to Bishop's Cleve, Gloucestershire. After moving in 1965, his marriage began to deplete. Catherine was in desperate need to escape Fred's sadistic sexual demands and fled to Scotland in 1966 without the children. She would occasionally return to visit the children every few months, but seemed to stop showing up after a few years. Despite the separation, Fred and Catherine's friend Anne McFall soon became infatuated with Fred and became pregnant with his child in 1967. Anne eventually went missing when she was eight months pregnant. Fred never filed a missing persons report and continued on with his life. On November 28, 1968, Fred's life would change forever when he met a woman by the name of Rosemary Letts at her job in Gloucester. She was only 15 years old at the time, but that didn't stop Fred. The two eventually moved in together and in 1970 had their first child together, Heather. That same year, Fred was in prison for theft. It was at this time that there were many accusations of Rose murdering Fred's stepdaughter, Charmaine, after she too went missing. According to Anne Marie, each of the siblings were subject to frequent beatings at the hands of Rose while Fred was serving his time. On January 29, 1972, Fred and Rose married in Gloucester and had their second child named May. Rose was naive when it came to pleasing Fred and eventually turned to prostitution after Fred proposed her to make some extra cash. Fred and Rose eventually had seven additional children together. The family moved to 25 Cromwell Street, a place that would eventually become known as the House of Horrors. Rose continued prostituting herself and with Fred's approval would engage in having sex with her own father. During Rose's prostitution sessions, Fred would often hide in the adjoining room and watch through a hole in the wall. 
In October 1972, the West hired 17-year-old Catherine Roberts as the children's nanny. She rejected Fred and Rose's engagement into their sex circle and in turn was raped by both husband and wife. Not satisfied, Fred and Rose's sexual abuse escalated to their children. In 1973, the West trapped Fred's first daughter, Anne Marie, in a cellar where he bound and raped her as Rose watched. In 1979, Anne Marie became pregnant by her father but terminated the pregnancy. Not being able to cope with the extensive abuse, Anne eventually left. Things didn't change though, the West took it up a notch and eventually began to sexually abuse their daughter Heather, who eventually disappeared. On August of 1992, police decided to investigate the West, leading to Fred being charged and Rose being an accomplice to the rapes. Rose was later charged with child cruelty, resulting in their final two children being sent to foster care for further evaluation by social workers. It was common to hear the West joke about keeping Heather buried under their patio. This eventually led to police filing a warrant on the property in 1994. Shortly after filing a warrant, police investigated the property and found a burial ground underneath Fred and Rose's garden, something they weren't at all expecting to actually find. Two dismembered and decapitated female corpses were discovered. One was believed to be that of Heather West, according to police. After many hours of interrogation, Fred admitted to the murders. However, he insisted that Rose had absolutely no involvement in any of them. Fred had also admitted to burying nine bodies under the cellar of the house and also confessed to the whereabouts of his former wife, Catherine, his previous lover, Anne McFall, and his stepdaughter, Charmaine. This resulted in Fred West being charged with 12 counts of murder. Fred was taken into custody in Winson Green Prison on December 13, 1994. While awaiting his trial on January 1, 1995, Fred hanged himself by knotting his bedsheets together in his cell. Rose West later admitted to her participation in the sexual assaults. With her violent and dishonest behavior, the jury found Rose West guilty on 10 counts of murder. Rose's sentence was extended to a life sentence without any possibility of parole after the speculation of there being far more than just 12 killings. The West home at 25 Cromwell Street was eventually demolished in 1996 and is now just a pathway leading to the town center. And it leaves behind the dark remains of a past never to be forgotten. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click subscribe on screen now or below this video to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next episode of Seriously Strange. See you next time.